right, we are back, and as you can see, we have a huge canvas. I don't even know if it fits all the way in the frame. Oh, it does, just barely. You're missing this corner right here. Um, let me just check and see if I can get you 100% in there. Um, we are going to do a technique where basically we're going to pour a cup, and it's going to be a liter of paint, so it's going to be a lot. And we're gonna have some color down, but then we're gonna pour from here in a very specific fashion, and then we're gonna tilt this out. And though this is a quick um, method, it is actually very difficult to get it right. It's all about the colors that you're putting together. It's about um, how you're moving the paint once it's on here. There's a lot going on. Um, so let's talk about our colors. So we've got a Prussian blue, and that is a Soho. We've got a Thalo green. We have got the blue, this is a custom mix that I use um, Amsterdam's um, primary cyan and, and a couple other blues that I use in there. Um, we've got a turquoise blue from Charbon. And then I've got a multitude of little bits of just the same kind of color palette. So this is a piggy, but uh, no, this is a color art. Yeah, that's a color art. Um, this is a pearl cactus green, that's Arteza's. Um, this one is a combination of Arteza's Pearl Ocean and this turquoise. So I've got lots of different things here, but my favorite color metallic wise right now is Amsterdam's Pewter. And I don't know if you can see this, but it is just a beautiful color. A little bit of shimmer. It's not a gray. It's not a gold. I love this pewter. So that is uh, part of what we're going to put down in the base. Now, we'll lose most of that, um, but I think this is going to be... I'm excited. I think it's going to be fun. Yay! So let's get to it. I'm not actually going to lay a base coat because we are going to take this all the way to the ends um, and we'll have enough paint. But what I am gonna do is do patches that I wanna see of white. And this is the last of my white. I believe I have, um, do I have any more white mixed up? I will double check here in just a moment. Um, we're just gonna leave him upside down while we look. Okay. That white and this white. This one feels empty, but he's been sitting upside down. So he might work for us a little bit. Almost. All right, that white is officially out. We need to mix more white. And then this white, I'm gonna bring him a little closer to that guy. Oh, this is the one I accidentally put the cap on with the black one time. And good thing this guy's out because he needs to go. We're just going to run this right into this white right here. So I like to have these touching um, so that we can flop the color. Flop is a very professional term. Uh, but we can flop the color around it and occupy the space. So this color will roll over itself. but I think it's going to be good. I could, I'm pretty excited about this. I've done this a couple other times, so it, it's a technique on a couple other times, well, more than that, but technique I'm pretty familiar with. Um, I don't know that I've ever had a recording of it, though. We're just going to pop some air bubbles. Make sure we don't have it. Oh, goodness, look at all those air bubbles. All right, keep going with the air bubbles. All right, then we are going to take this pewter and do the same thing to occupy more space. And again, we're going to do kind of the squishing of it. Swishing? Um, blending of it. Well, you'll understand when you see it.
underneath and we're just gonna use the stretcher bar to tip the rest of the way here. Sorry if you're not in line there. So we're going over the side, over the side, and then down. And then we're bringing it back. All right, so now we're gonna look compositionally at what we have. Oh, pretty. I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. And then in case we need to, um, we're gonna have to fix sides, but expected that. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tip that direction. I just hate to get lose that ribbon right there. Um, let me think about this. I kind of like that ribbon in the corner. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna, what do we got there? That schmutz, what is that right there? No, it's not schmutz. No, I don't think we're gonna mess with it. No, I think I'm good. Um, let's clean up my corners and I'll bring you guys back for the dried results. Oh my goodness, I am in love. I don't think I've ever done a piece that I love as much as this one. Just wow, just wow. I'm gonna bring you in close for a couple details. Just look at that center. Um, the light is kind of reflecting on the metallic. I'll move that out of the way a little bit. Just breathtaking. That's what this is for me. And sometimes you do a piece of art and it moves you that much. Just, oh my goodness. I love all the details. Um, this, this, is, this is my bliss right here. And I found it. Find yours, gang. Thanks for stopping by.